How are you today? Lots to talk about in the world of 90 Day Fiance. I don't know what's going on with my voice, but I am losing my voice. I hope I'm not getting sick, <clears throat> but I, it's coming in and out. Uh, we are going to talk about the Karimi situation. Now, yesterday I talked about Paul. I talked about documents that leaked out. So what we know through the public of what he's um, said in his paperwork when he went to court. And now today I'm going to talk about Karimi, things that she wrote in her paperwork. But first I'm going to talk about Ma Michael and Angela. Now you guys know if you watch my videos, this is absolutely my favorite couple. I really like these two together, but they got a lot going on, people. So in the upcoming episode, Angela and Michael are going to be getting married in Nigeria. Now, according to this article, the real reason that these two are getting married is because they have applied for a K-3 spousal, spousal visa, spouse visa. Now, let me explain to you how this works the way that it was explained to me because it's interesting and quite confusing okay so this is how it was explained to me you cannot apply for the k3 visa until you know why you were denied for the k1 visa now we know he was denied but they did not say why um if you apply before knowing why you were denied, it could affect your chances of getting a visa. So we already know he applied and was denied. So I asked this person, well, what are some of the reasons that he could be denied? They gave me a slew of reasons. Um, the age difference, I thought the age difference, that's nothing they could fix. So <clears throat> that right there is challenging. It could be the fact that they're on TV. It could be something as simple as the way he speaks if he doesn't articulate well that could be a strike against him it's not easy people getting these visas basically they could deny you for the smallest most minute reason like oh my gosh i, I had no idea that this visa process was so complicated another thing is did you know did you guys know they had to pay money for these visas between 400 and 1700 dollars $1,700. That's a lot of money, guys. That's a lot of money. And when you get denied for like Michael, the, the K-1, he has to spend more money on the K-3. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with my voice. He has to put more money. These are expensive. I mean, they've got so much to overcome to be together. It's not like they can't do it. I'm just saying these, the odds are getting bigger and bigger and bigger that he would he's not going to make it over here. And now, not to mention the fact that, so according to this article, they are in, they have applied for the K3 visa and they know why he got denied for the K1. Maybe they're going to make a storyline out of that. We do not know yet as of now, why he has got denied for the K1. Um, unbelievable. That's a lot of money. This is a lot. When you get denied, you have to pay for it again. I mean, me personally, I don't know if I can do it. And, you know, it doesn't help matters that Nigeria is on the ban list. So that is also going to make things take longer. I mean, oh, my heart bleeds for these two. I mean, because I have a feeling if he could get over here to the U.S., they would work on their baby problems. He would be there, be support to Angela as she takes care of her family. But it looks like he's not coming anytime soon. So, you know, people say, oh, she's using him. He's using her, vice versa. I don't see anybody using anybody when you have to go to, through these kind of hurdles. I mean, these are hurdles. Um, someone also said they ask the craziest questions like, what does your spouse wear to bed at night? <laughs> Me, I will be like, is that any of your damn business? But no, they get personal. They have to put, uh, pull out pictures. They have to prove that they are a true blue couple. Now, I used to hear all the time that people pay people to marry them so they can get their visa. That must have been the old days, not this day and age. I mean, what does your spouse wear to bed? Oh, gosh. Now, the good news is 
they do get married in Nigeria, and I hear it was a fabulous wedding, and both of them were on cloud nine. Nine. Those were the rumors. I would show pictures, but I don't even know if I could show the pictures yet. So, um, you know, they've got a lot to go through. I will update you on their situation if I hear anything new, but um, at least they got married. That's the good in all of this, right? So congratulations on getting married. Um, hopefully, you know, it doesn't seem good that these two will be coming over to America, but at the end of the day, no one knows. You know, they could come across some, they could just get blessed and get over here somehow, but not as of yet. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. Another case I need to keep you updated on would be the Karimi case. Whew. Now, yesterday I read you some of the things that leaked out to the press that were, that was in Paul's paperwork. Now, today I'm going to tell you some of the things that leaked out that's in Karimi's paperwork. And I'm going to say it the same way I said, Paul. These are some serious allegations that both of you need proof of. Paul, you better bring the proof. Karimi, you better bring the proof. So let's go over some of the things in her paperwork. She says, I came to America to visit my in-laws. And now he would not let me go back. I guess she asked Paul to go back to Brazil several times. Now I can see this happening because he is the one, the breadwinner, even though he has a, doesn't have a job and doesn't have a lot of money, he still can control when she goes back to Brazil. She said, when I asked to go back to see my family, he would threaten to take my son. You see what I'm talking about, guys? These are some serious allegations. Who would do that? Who would do that? I don't know. I'm just telling you what's in the paperwork. She also would go on to say, I am terrified that he would hurt me and hurt my son because I ran away from him. She said run with the ED, but she meant, meant ran because I ran away from him. And I'm afraid to go back to Brazil because he could come to Brazil to hurt us. So just from what we're hearing, I don't know if she's asking to stay here. That, that, that's what I'm going to. That's what I'm thinking she's saying. Can she stay here? Ooh, I mean, wow. Um, and then, of course, it was the severe allegations. And she actually said this in her court paperwork that she was sexually violated. Now, listen, there's courts in Brazil. It's not like Karini doesn't understand how court works. You can't lie. I mean, you can, but you have to have evidence to back these allegations up. Same for Paul. He must have allegations to back up his claims. This is getting dirty. This is, ooh, these are serious allegations, people. Paul's claiming that, you know, someone threatened to kidnap his son, Pierre. She's, um, claiming that if she went back to Brazil, she wouldn't, he wouldn't let her see Pierre and what mother would leave their child. I mean, it's just, whoo, I mean, definitely over my head, something I cannot sort out. We got to leave it up to the judge, but I will say both sides are dealing with some serious allegations that need to be proven. I will say it that way. Um, at this current time, and this says this in her paperwork, her and Paul are estranged. Of course, estranged, which means they don't talk, they don't see each other. She has a straining out order, restraining order out against Paul. I'm gonna guess now nothing's leaked out about Pierre yet, but maybe they're the court is issuing them days and times, you know, when they see their ch children. I don't know, maybe. I don't know. And, and it also says that she's asking for 50-50 custody. Complicated. I can't explain the crazy. I just tell you what's being leaked out to the public. Um, this is some serious allegations. I mean, both of them. Um, Angela's situation serious because it looks like, I'll just be honest, Michael's not coming over here for a long, long time. So uh, these are things we got to talk about in the comic session in the comment section. How do you guys feel about the rumors that 
Michael and Angela have filed for the K-3 visa. And are you guys shocked that it's so expensive? Now, remember, I don't know anything about immigration, so I didn't know that they paid that kind of money. And then what do you guys think about Karini's allegations compared to Paul's allegations? It's serious. Um, so we all need to have a serious adult conversation. It's very important that we have an adult conversation. And I because people have different opinions. And so everyone's entitled to their opinion. So we got to talk about it in the comment section. In the meantime, if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button. It does wonders for my video. If you haven't already subscribed and hit the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a video, go ahead and do that. And then I'll meet you guys in the comment section. We got a lot to talk about. Until next time, talk to you then. Bye.